Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to unravel the mysteries of this unassuming but truly magical 2x2 footprint. This, well, the technique that created this, holds the secret to the most unraidable bases you can build in Rust. It starts with a cheap, non-honeycombed 2x2 which is already 15 rockets to TC and main loot, and continues with external TCs, each of which is an ultra-cheap, easy-to-build 14 rocket TC bunker, requiring next to no HQM to set up. The trick, of course, is to spread your loot intelligently between these when locking off, and no raid on you will ever be worth the effort. And from this incredibly cost-efficient foundation, you can continue building up your main base however you like. This here is one of mine. Full build tutorial coming soon. But again, it all comes back to this. The humble twig footprint, and one very tricksy building technique. So, let's build, shall we? We start by creating a pixel gap. For that, make two square foundations. Then jump on this one, and yes, jumping is part of the method. Then crouch and place a triangle foundation. Then crouch strafe left, and without moving your mouse, which hold left alt in case this is difficult, try to clip a second foundation as deep as possible into the first. For this application you need almost perfect precision, so I like to do tiny taps on the D key, tiny side steps. This is to gauge where it turns red, and then place the foundation exactly one step before that. Then just check that this turns blue, and that's perfect. You now have two triangle foundations, where the left is ever so slightly higher than the right. So now, building off the high foundation, we're going to seed high triangle foundations into the final footprint. And we're going to place them in positions that will make life very easy later on. You'll see what I mean. And after placing all these high triangles, you want to get rid of the high squares and replace them with low squares, built off of the low triangle foundation. Deliberately attach the last one to the square side like so. And all things being right, you should have these stone textures here and here. And going back, again, same positions. Lastly, remove the original low foundation and add a high foundation here. And that leaves us with this beautiful footprint, triangles high, squares low. Which, by the way, when using these types of arrangements, I highly suggest you upgrade different heights with different skins, as it'll really help you keep track of things later into the build. Okay, so from here you pick any three squares and close them off like so. One door here. One door here. No door here. Instead, place your TC at this position. And here, before closing this square off completely, you build a shelf off of the high foundation. This will now serve as your jump up, so you can build a standard roof exit. Perfect! Now before these high foundations decay, let's connect them to the base. But make sure to deliberately attach your new foundations to the squares, making them low foundations. You'll know it's good if you have these stone textures at these positions. That's good, so upgrade. And then repeat on all sides, but do always check that you got the placement right before you upgrade. Now at this point you could expand the main base, but in this video I want to show you how you get to a 70 ish rocket raid before adding a single wall to this core. So let's start by making the core itself a 15 rocket raid. To do that, first you HQM the TC square. You can do just the foundation and upgrade the walls later from outside, no worries. Or not HQM, just honeycomb, you do you. Then, if you have anything here, you might need to momentarily remove it. And then you do this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a pixel gap. 
To access TC, place a small box, crouch on it, hold W and slide off the side of it until you get to the right position. See? Perfect. Now, you upgrade only the top half. We want to get the most out of this square before we close it. Basically, some more storage. So first, add a locker, sideways like this. And then, a vending machine like so. Notice, by the way, how the top half wall here prevents us from placing it too closely, which would brick the bunker. So, it's very important that you have it there, at this stage. Don't forget, of course, to disable broadcast, we want to download this, and also uh, lock the bunker before closing. Now, if there's anything you don't want to do, is you don't HQM this, as that'll forever seal shut the pixel gap. One cool thing you can do, however, to prevent any chance of someone griefing your bunker, which is a bit difficult to do, but possible, is to sidegrade the low wall using the shipping container skin, which seals it shut until you want it open again. Nice! And also, I'd recommend upgrading this shelf, situationally making it easier to rebuild the pixel gap in case it gets destroyed. Now, when upgrading, even though you know which tiles are low, which are high, it's still good practice to use different skins. After many wipes, uh, trust me on this. Regardless, we're now going to work some beautiful rust building magic as we move to the second stage, where we add my favorite flawless bunkered external TCs. So to start off, we're gonna build square foundations off of the high foundation here. And from this one, build out five more. Followed by three triangles to the left. Good, now we want to do the same, but with low foundations. And so, off of this low triangle, we add a triangle and a square. Then break the triangle and build five squares out, followed by one triangle. Now, since this one's high and that one's low, doing the following should result in a pixel gap. Which, there you go! Now, if everything placed correctly, you want to upgrade these two foundations and the two half walls. Then add a foundation right here for the TC. And close it up. And after some cleaning, cleaning, you're left with this gorgeous, super cheap, bunkered external TC. Here too you can side grade to prevent any potential griefing. Griefer, no griefing. And you're basically golden. Now, before Griefer griefs you, I suggest to quickly do this on all sides, then gradually upgrade to metal, and how awesome is it that you already have 8 rocket externals for so stupidly cheap? The HQM top, by the way, is for, well, when you want to increase the raid cost even more. But whatever you do, for safety of use, add at least one door. And if you want to increase the raid cost, continue like so. So that's the door path, now honeycomb the TC from behind. And finally, here you want to prepare a disconnection mechanism, so add honeycomb with two half walls facing the base. And in this case it's actually very important that you can make a disconnection mechanism, because you cannot replace a TC behind a pixel gap. So improvise as needed, I have an old video on this subject which I really should refresh, so... But anyway, you can do pretty much any footprint you want to with this, so if, let's say, you go with this shell footprint, you can do something like this. So you can have white gaps like that, or you could do this and have a shooting floor like that. And if instead of the shell footprint you just go with this uh, honeycomb block, well, then you can do something like this. And those were just a couple of ideas out of many. But today I just wanted to show you how to set up the most basic 70-ish rocket footprint so you can start playing around with these ideas and techniques. This, for example, is the footprint for the Throne V2. Doesn't look like much if you don't know what you're seeing. If you do, well, then you understand how this ends up with 11 bunkers. And very easily so, because of these high foundations seeded into the footprint. 
So that's all for today, hope to see you again soon, but until then, goodbye for now, and blessed be.